talking about how his agenda is literally helping to rescue farms, helping the little guy keep their businesses out there in rural America, talking about how the D.C. swamps, quote, regulatory assault hurts the little guy. It's a narrative the liberal left often refuses to acknowledge. Let's listen. From now on, most family farms and small business owners will, will be spared. And you're going to be spared, and it really is the word punishment of the deeply unfair estate tax known as the death tax, so you can keep your farms in the family. My next guest is a farm owner herself, the little guy farmer who the president is reaching out to today. We're bringing in Virginia Farmer and a top policy advisor to America First Policies. She's Martha Bonetta. Martha, MSNBC, CNBC, Bloomberg, CNN, a lot of mainstream media did not take the president's speech today. What's your reaction to that? It's, it's unfathomable. Um, American farmers are the backbone of America, the heartbeat of America. And to not report on this historic day in American history, celebrating the American farmer, it's hard to imagine that. You know, our American farmers are, are the greatest in the world. And Donald Trump's plan for rural America, that has been neglected, it's one of the most overregulated sectors in our, in our country, uh, is going to make our farmers even more competitive. Yeah, I want to. I want you to talk about that. I mean, about how it's the most one of the most overregulated sector. The president calls farmers and the little guy, the forgotten man and woman, uh, women, the silent majority, saying you're not forgotten anymore. But you know, when you when you hear the liberal left and people on the left talking about it, again, we go right down their middle. We're trying to report both sides. They're saying farmers are big corporate America. They're really rich. They don't need estate tax cuts. What's your react and things like that? What's your reaction to that? You know, the small family farmer struggles literally to survive, uh, being overregulated, overburdened with job killing regulations that make it very difficult to survive. And, you know, over 75 percent of rural America in, in the farm belt voted for Donald Trump. And that's because we believe and the American farmer believed in his vision for deregulation and tax cuts that have that will really make a big difference in in, in farming in America. You know, the greatest preservation for agriculture is a robust economy and agricultural industry. And under Donald Trump's plan for rural America, we will have that. That's where all the, a lot of manufacturing jobs, too, high paying ones come. You know, President Trump also signs an executive order today to help rural America get the internet to places where they cannot get access to the internet, meaning more broadband. What was your reaction to that? It is such a, uh, a day of celebration in rural America today, uh, the broad, bringing broadband technology uh, infrastructure to rural America will change the future of agriculture. And everyone uh, is celebrating in, in the farm belt, and it's with good reason. Farm country is God country. Thank you, Martha. Represent a little farmer guy out there. Good to see you. Come back soon. We love having you on.